Hi you guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing and today what I wanna talk about is something really, really important. It's the fear and the stress that a lot of people associate with investing on their own, investing in the stock market or anything else. So let's think about something for a minute in terms of fear and stress. I mean, do you drive to work every day, right? You, you probably do. How many of you ever got on an airplane or something, right? So you're driving to work and you're doing that despite the fact that you know that thousands of people die on the highway all you know through the course of a year. Somebody's dying on a highway somewhere in America virtually every day, right? But very few of us sort of start off the day by, you know, gathering the family, holding everyone close, tears, like I'll never see you again. And you know, we fill out our will and make sure it's up to date right before we go out the door to drive to work because we may not come back, right? We don't do that. We just go get in the car, right? So how's the journey? Going from your house to work, it's a journey you take every day. You know you're gonna get there safe. It doesn't, it's not a life-threatening process, right? Now. We're gonna take the same exact journey, but instead of you driving, we're gonna have your 10-year-old nephew drive the car, right? Never driven a car in his life. We're gonna have your 10-year-old nephew drive the car, and now you might wanna check your will because you know there's a pretty good chance that you could really run into trouble. You might die on the way to work today. Because why, all right? It's really just the same journey, you know? There's no difference between the car. It's the same car, so the vehicle's the same. It's the same exact distance, everything's the same. The only thing difference about this that creates fear is that you know your nephew does not have the skill and the knowledge to drive. Whereas you do, you've got the knowledge, you drive the car. Nothing else is different. It's just the knowledge and the skill that's different. And just like that, investing in the stock market when you don't know anything naturally is a fearful thing to do, because why? Because this is a serious journey. This is about your life. And this is in some ways about life and death. I mean, if you don't have goods amounts of money to uh, be retired on, it's entirely possible that 20 years from now that the federal government doesn't have any money for you. There's a broke social security system that you can't get medical care. That could happen here, right? So this is a life and death journey when we wanna think about it like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna think about the kind of vehicle that we're gonna move in here. We're gonna go into a vehicle called the Rule One vehicle, all right? It's the Rule One car. What it is when you're a Rule One investor is that you're a knowledgeable investor and you can make this journey safely over the next 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 10 years, whatever it is. The same journey, an uneducated investor, somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, is gonna have really serious problem negotiating these roads out there. So this is where the fear comes from. Knowing that you know you don't know what to do. Knowing that creates the fear. So when I think about this, you know, I really didn't realize this this much. I mean, for me, I gotta tell you, I started investing with very little fear at all because the stuff I had done before I became an investor was pretty much life-threatening kinds of things. I was in the army and then I was a river guide for many years on big rivers. So when I started looking at the risks involved in investing, it seemed pretty low risk, right? They weren't gonna kill me or anything. I wasn't gonna die, really. But that's not how most people feel. Most people feel very, very much like this is a life and death thing. You wanna learn more about that, listen to the podcast that I do with my daughter, Danielle. She was terrified of investing. And we've been doing this podcast for about a year and a half. I'm gonna tell you something, man. It's a huge, huge difference. When she starts learning how to invest, you can feel her confidence build over the course of these, uh, these many podcasts, and you can feel the fear go away. So here's what I wanted you to do to kind of start getting focused on an investing education. The first thing to do when you're trying to eat an elephant, right? Not that you'd ever actually wanna eat an elephant, but just as a metaphor, if you're gonna to try to eat an elephant, you gotta make it down, you gotta take it down to small bites, all right? You gotta get real focused and narrow down the job. So the first thing we're gonna focus on is what we call your circle of competence 
Or if you want to think about it another way as a metaphor, think about it as digging a canyon. And you're going to be very, very skillful inside that canyon. We call it being an inch wide and a mile deep. You're going to get very focused. You're going to narrow down the world of things that you can invest in to just a handful of things. Now, to think about this, it's very similar to the kind of confidence people have when they're buying a house, when they're just buying a, like a, a, a house they're going to rent out. Many people are very confident that they can do that right because of a couple of things. First off, they're very familiar with houses. They live in one, right? They understand how to evaluate the house to see if it's any good. They know who they can hire for an expert to take a look at the things they don't already know about. So figuring out whether the house is any good is something we understand. And we have a good sense of the neighborhood, probably because we live in it already, that 20 years from now, this is going to be a good neighborhood. It's going to be a valuable investment. Those two things are what we need to figure out about anything we invest in, you guys. So just get really focused on learning enough about one thing or two things that it's like what you know about a house. Now, if you haven't already seen my other videos about how to start investing, take a look under my channel. And I tell you right now, I'd love to hear from you guys about this thing. I think this thing about fear is very, very important. What kind of fear have you experienced when you try to start investing? And how'd you get over it? Or did you get over it? So leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure and follow up with you. Thanks for watching, you guys. And time to go play. See ya. If you enjoyed the video, you guys, and you thought it was pretty helpful in helping you learn more about ruling your financial future, then subscribe to my channel. <laughs> That's what we want you to do. And like the video. You can share this thing with your friends, by the way. Share it out there. And uh, there's a lot of people who would benefit from this information. So let's get it out to them, right?